The process of applying to university can sometimes feel overwhelming. Trust me, I've been there. Hi, I'm Geneviève, a fourth year theater and film student in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, and I'm also originally from Toronto. Let me guide you through the application process step by step. To get started, visit www.dal.ca forward slash apply now. Then review the steps. It's important to note that to apply for scholarships, a student must complete a separate application, which will open in December. Once you're ready to apply, click the Start Your Application button. That will bring you to the Dalhousie Admissions application. Please take a moment to read through the information on this page, as you'll find here directions for how to apply and where to send your supporting documents as you are not able to upload your documents through the application itself. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see that you are able to input your login ID and PIN. If you've already submitted your application for admission, this is where you will enter your login information to check on the status of your application. If you are applying for the first time, you will need to click on the link below the login button called First Time User Account Creation. This is how you will generate login credentials to come back to your application later. This is where you will create your login and PIN. The PIN requirements are listed at the top of the page. Please take a moment after completing this section to write down your login credentials in an accessible place like your phone, as you'll need this information to check on the application status later. If you happen to lose or forget the information, you can always reach out to the advisor for your area for help. You can find that person's contact information by visiting www dal.ca forward slash connect. Once you have created and submitted your login credentials, you will be brought to the first page of the application and you'll be asked to select your application type. There is a lot of information here, but please don't feel overwhelmed. As I mentioned before, if you need assistance, you can reach out to your advisor for help. As you can see, there are three columns of information here for you to review. The first is the application type, which is what you will select from the drop down menu list at the bottom of the page. The second is a description of which applications are contained within each application type. And the third lets you know what term you can apply for. For example, our health programs only take in new students in September of each year. The application you will need to select is determined by the faculty that your program belongs to. For example, the Bachelor of Commerce belongs to the Faculty of Management. So you will select the DAL undergrad general application type. If you're not sure what faculty your program belongs to, you can visit our viewbook at www.dal.ca forward slash viewbook. We break down which programs belong to each faculty on pages 10 and 11. Please look through each application type carefully to find the program you are interested in being considered for. While some of our programs admit directly to the major area of study you will focus on in your degree, like the Bachelor of Science Nursing, some of our programs require you to apply to the program first and declare your major or discipline later on in your degree. If you don't see the specific major you want to apply for listed on the application, just select the program it belongs to. You can find a list of all the available majors for each program in the viewbook, also on pages 10 and 11. One last note before I move on, Dalhousie offers several science-based programs across a range of subject areas. So it's important to carefully read through the application type description because many of our degrees are called a Bachelor of Science, but they belong to a different faculty and so have a different application type. For example, the Bachelor of Science Nursing has its own application type, and the Bachelor of Science Kinesiology belongs to the Dow Undergrad Health application type because the program is offered by our Faculty of Health. Pages 10 and 11 of the viewbook can be an excellent guide here. For this example, I'm going to select our Bachelor of Science Medical Sciences application. I know from re reviewing the viewbook that this program belongs to the Faculty of Science, so I'm going to select the Dow Undergrad General Application Type from the drop down list at the bottom of the page and click Continue. Next, you will select the term you would like to begin your studies in. There are a few options, so make sure you are selecting the right term. You will need to enter your legal name here. If you prefer to be referred to by a different name, there is a section in the application where you can record that. Now click Submit and move on to the next page. That will bring you to the application checklist. Please take a moment to read through the declaration on this page as it is important to understand your responsibilities around submitting an application for admission. Now I'm going to walk you through each application checklist item. First up is the name section. Some of this information will carry through from earlier in the application, but you have the option to record a preferred name here, which is what we'll use to refer to you in our 
informal correspondence and what your professors will eventually see on their class lists. If you click continue, that will take you to the next item on the checklist, your address and phone number section. Here, we ask that you enter your address and phone number. You should fill in the address where you would like to receive mail from Dalhousie. If you're applying from outside of Canada and the United States, we know that your address may not follow the formatting you see on the page exactly. Please fill in the fields that most closely match your address information so that it accurately reflects your mailing address. If you are applying for admission outside of North America, please record your country and area codes in the first phone number box, followed by your phone number in the second box, and your extension, if you have one, in the third. Once you've finished entering this information, please click continue to move on to the next section of the application. In this section, we will need to know your permanent residency. Please take a moment to read the definition of a resident at the top of the page, then indicate your city, state, or country of residence according to the directions in the page, as some of our programs consider residency in determining eligibility for admission. That brings us to the personal information section of the application. Some fields like your citizenship, email, and birth date are mandatory. Others are voluntary. If you identify as belonging to any of the groups included below, you have the option to indicate that with or without consent on your application. If you voluntarily self-identify with consent, the university may forward you information about opportunities to connect with resources and support services tailored to specific communities. These may include information about scholarships or equitable admissions policies. If you voluntarily identify without consent, any information you provide is anonymized and is only used to assist the university in assessing and improving services for students who identify as belonging to one of the groups below. In either case, any information you provide in this section, as with the rest of the application, is strictly confidential. This section is only for students who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents of Canada, and can be skipped by citizens or and permanent residents of Canada. In this section, we want to know if you have already entered Canada, and if so, when. We would also like to know about your level of English proficiency and if you are represented by an educational agent. An educational agent is someone you engage to advise you on the application process. If you would like to give a third party permission to access your application information, that section will be available later in the application. Next. Here we ask you to choose your admissions type. Please read through the options detailed on the page and choose the option that best describes your current academic status. If your academic status is not captured by one of our options here, Choose the nearest match and feel free to follow up with your advisor. In this section of the application, we are looking for information on your high school and curriculum. At the top of the page, in line with the first question, you'll see the words, look up high school code. This is a link you can click on, which will walk you through the steps of choosing the correct code to indicate your high school. These are codes created by Dalhousie, so it's not something your high school can provide you. Once you have selected your province, state, or country, you will, you will be presented with a list of communities. Select your community, and if we have previously received an application from someone who also attended your high school, you will see the correct code listed there. If we have not created a code for your high school yet, you'll be able to see a message that says, no high schools found in the selected city, return to high school data entry form. Clicking on the link provided in that message will make the high school code field not mandatory and let you fill out the rest of the form manually. If you do find your high school listed, you can select it from the list and it will auto-populate some of the details required on this page. Read and answer the rest of the questions carefully as the answers you provide will inform some of the documents we will require to complete your application. This section is only for students who have previous post-secondary experience. If you have never attended a college or university before, you can move on to the next step. If you have attended one or more post-secondary institutions before, you will need to list them all here in this form. Looking up your previous college or university works the same way as looking up your high school. Once you have selected your province, state, or country, you will be presented with a list of communities. Select your community, and if you have previously received an application from someone who also attended your school, you will see the correct code listed there. If not, you will be returned to the main form to enter your school's information manually. If you have attended more than one previous university or college, you can click the enter or view another college or degree button below to enter that information. 
It is very important to list every institution you have attended, as failure to disclose attendance elsewhere is grounds for Dalhousie to refuse or rescind an offer of admission. All right, moving to the next step. This is the section where at the top right of the screen, you will find the list of programs you can apply for. Select your first choice program from the drop down menu. If you look to the next two questions, you'll see that we ask for your second and third choice programs. But I want to note that if you are admissible to your first choice program, we will end our review there. We will only move on to your next choice of program if we aren't able to offer you admission to your first. And we repeat that process with your second and third choices. You also have the option to let us know that you are interested in being considered for our Bachelor of Health Science programs and our Dalhousie Integrated Science program by checking yes to those questions here. There are some additional questions here at the bottom that may be relevant to students planning to transfer to Dalhousie from another institution, but can be left blank if you are applying directly from high school. In this section of the application, you have the option to provide us with some contact information for friends or family who you might like to have added to the Dalhousie Friends and Family Newsletter mailing list. If they would prefer not to receive emails from Dalhousie, you are not required to enter their information here, but it can be a nice way for them to stay connected to the university. As you can see, there are quite a number of instructions on this page, but please don't feel overwhelmed. If you take a scan through the bolded headlines, you see that they refer to different programs. For students applying to an undergraduate program, take a skim through the first, second, and last entry to see if anything applies to the program you are interested in. If a program you are interested in requires additional documentation to complete the application, it will be noted here, as well as on pages 12 and 13 of our viewbook and on our website. Once you've done that, scroll to the bottom of the page and read through the questions. This is an important page for you to complete if you would like someone other than yourself to be able to ask questions about the status of your application. For example, if you would like your parent or guardian to be able to call on your behalf and ask questions about your admission, you must provide us with that information here in these first two questions. We also ask for your permission to release information about any scholarships we may be awarding to you, to your high school, or to other donors. If you consent to have your information shared, please select yes to any of the applicable questions. So that brings us to the final page of the application checklist, self-reported grades. On this page, we ask that students report what classes they took in grade 11 and what grades they received, as well as any grade 12 class they're currently registered for. In our early admissions period between October 15th, 2022 and January 31st, 2023, we accept self-reported grades from students applying from within Canada and the United States. If you're an international student applying to Dalhousie from outside of Canada or the US, the only question on this page we ask that you answer is the first question asking if you will be attending open house. Although they are noted on the page here, I would just like to take this opportunity to make a few province specific notes. For students applying from Ontario or Nova Scotia, although you have provided us with your OUAC or provincial student number earlier in the application, we do ask that you complete the section of the application in full please report your grade 11 classes, the grades you received in those classes, and your grade 12 classes in the appropriate places on this page. Now let's take a look at the table below. As you can see, we have space for you to report up to 15 grade 11 classes. Click on the drop down menu next to each sequential number to select your grade 11 classes. If a class you took doesn't have an exact match to the drop down list, but there is a closely related subject, you can choose that option. If there is no close match for the course you took, you can go to the question immediately following the table and enter any grade 11 subjects that you could not find in the drop-down list. In the column, column labeled score, you will enter the grade that you received. That grade must be entered in a three digit format. For example, if you received a 90% in grade 11 biology, you will report that grade as 090. We also ask that you report the month and year in which you completed your classes. To continue our example, we'll say that I finished this class in January 2022. You should also enter any final grade 12 marks that you may have received. We ask that students identify if they're taking AP or IB classes, and if so, which classes are AP or IB on this page as well. That brings us to the end of the application for admission. To complete your application, just click on the application is complete button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've clicked on this button, you will be brought to the payment screen where you will be able to make your application fee payment with a credit card and receive further instruction on submitting your supporting documents. 
If you're not able to make your application fee payment today, that's okay. You can submit your application anyway, and after the application has been processed and your student number created, you'll be able to make that payment through our secure online payment system found at www.dal.ca forward slash application fee. Thanks for applying. We're excited you want to study here at Dalhousie University. Visit dal.ca forward slash future students for future student resources and information on upcoming events. Visit that same page to book a campus tour with one of my fellow student ambassadors. We hope to see you soon.